Hello and welcome to my very first apartment build in The Sims 4. In this apartment build I try to build something that fits my personal taste and the taste of my girlfriend very well. So it's gotta be for gamers and a little bit of witchcraft I also would like in there because if I had the options in real life that we have in Sims I would go for it. Also I love long showers and good baths so the bathroom is very important for me. And I'll start with that first, especially since I have this idea with a black bathroom. So I need a black bath. I also put the jacuzzi there because I've got an idea that I want to test in this. Um, as you see the room um, on the top left, you can see it is Medina Studios 920. So if you want to build along, feel free. The windows were very important for the separation of the rooms. So. Um, I had to make sure that I have rooms that need a window that they are where there are windows as you cannot place more windows than the apartment offers. Here I put in the bathtub a level lower because uh, um, multiple levels to be honest because I would love the sim to enter from the same level and then just add dip into the bath from above. In real life this would obviously work very well in the game I had to play test it and they can't they can't enter from above they can't enter from behind they have to enter the bathtub from one of their longest side they can enter from both sides it doesn't matter if it's left or right but it has to be one of those longer sides same with the jacuzzi that I lower now here into the floor to test it as well I will test it off screen actually and they cannot enter this jacuzzi. I mean, in real life, it, they you would be and be able to enter this even easier. But in the same state, sad it doesn't work. So I had to figure out a workaround. And here I have this idea that not only I can have a bathtub lower there, I could also have just a shower over there, and with a shower head in the wall, with the black stone tiles on the floor. I mean, the whole thing can get wet. It's fine. It's stone. Right? I was also experimenting a lot with um, kind of colors of stone for the walls, for the floor and for the half wall, for the stairs. And oh boy, I spent about an hour getting annoyed about how different kinds of stones do not have the same color variations. And these black stones that I love for the floor are not available for the wall and so on. So I've I was trying for a long while. Now I'm trying to figure out how I want the other, the other rooms and checking out what doors and stairs I want, which color. I thought well black on black goes well, what I chose here wouldn't. The toilet of course separated from the bath because the bath is a very relaxing place, not just the cleaning. And I would like if um, for example one of, if I can go poop at the same time uh, my girlfriend can go take a shower or a bath and doesn't have to smell my poop. I think that is really nice. So the toilet is separated. Also, anyway, smell issues. Even after pooping, sometimes the bathroom, the toilet still stinks a little bit. Um, having that separated like the Japanese generally do is really nice. And um, the laundry room I put also in black with um, these black um, uh, what, cabinets. And here I check out with the level how I want the room separation, what I want to wear, and I have this idea that I would like another. I would like more windows. I'm a bit annoyed there because I'm not sure if I want the kitchen on the right or on the left. Um, I want, of course, a window in the living room, obviously. But um, where does the bedroom come? If I put the kitchen here on this side, then I have a bedroom on the other side without a window. That, that, that's not good. So I guess the bedroom will have tons of windows and the kitchen will have none. But the kitchen can be an open kitchen and be shared. So here I figure out how I want this, this hallway and how it could look good so it's not too close. So you don't get claustrophobic in there because it's too tight. But to still look good and give the rooms enough well, room. Also this stair in the back of the bathroom, every time I do something with floor levels it gets, it glitches up a level for some reason. I, you will see me probably a few more times to fix that despite me cutting it out a lot. Of course the entry entryway, the on, hallway on the entrance has to be a lower level and um, I want there to be shoes so people can take their shoes off and I just place a few things that I just had in mind and um, so I go and place the stuff. Also sometimes I stumble upon things and 
that I know, oh yes, right, this one, I want to use this later, so I just place it somewhere, so I don't forget. I tend to forget a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you will see that often I'm like stumbling across things and just place them, and sometimes I spend a long time browsing through items, figuring out which one I want, because I know what I want, but I'm not sure if that actually exists in The Sims, so I just browse through a bunch of things. Of course we have to have the nice colors, colors that fit my personal taste and my girlfriend's taste. We both like blue, pink, black and some pastelic colors. That's that's really nice, we like that. I mean I also like green, that's not less her color, so probably the green shirt is mine, who knows. And of course um, the, the floors. I love the variation of wooden floors The Sims gives us. There are so many wooden floors in different colors of wood. That's really great. Some a little bit more, looking a bit more woodsy. Some have bigger tiles, some have smaller tiles, some are brighter. There's a really good variation and I had my joy experimenting with them. Here I thought, well, the upper level could be a tatami place and um, the lower level could be wood. And here I thought, okay, what, what if I do two different wood types and maybe the middle floor in white and the other one in this beige. And of course the kitchen, I thought, okay, let's do something with tiles there to better clean it. And pink, I love pink. I thought, oh my god, let's do a pink kitchen. And here I decided, okay, the bathroom being black, the, the washing room being black and the toilet being black is too much black. Especially let's do the toilet a little bit more bright since I also decided for a white toilet It's easier to clean. It's more realistic. I would argue and now I'll try to figure out which Floor goes along with which wall, but I'm not really satisfied. I like the wall, but there's no floor to go along I liked the pink floor, but there is no wall to go along with the pink floor in here for the kitchen though I find this perfect wall wallpaper with the pink tiles on the bottom So it's not tiles all the way to the roof because this is quite a tall wall apartment and this one is just um the i think simple colored panel something for the that you can use for the half walls respective for the different levels and it has so many color variations i i love to use that one because it doesn't stand out too much uh, it's not as thick as some of the others are but it has a lot of colors so it is it's both a great advantage for the normal walls, I struggle a little bit. I search through with some things that I like. Sometimes I'm not fully satisfied. But then um, this one I like because it, it has the wooden little tile on the bottom that makes it look really nice together with the with the beige wood on the right, the light brown. It's technically not beige. Um, yeah, I decide to go with a um, light blue and and white. I was thinking a moment, like, oh, we could go with the dark brown on the bottom and then not choose the other one dark brown, but I was like, nah, 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 a little bit brighter is nicer. Again, here, the stairs to things, as always. <laughs> yeah. Um, since I changed the floor to to white, I'm figuring out, okay, I could the stairs do in brown, like the, this floor, or in white, like the upper floor. And then I'm like, okay, the stairs look kind of weird because it's in this small angle. And I said, wait, it's just two levels, right? I can just make two steps manually like this. You have to walk here anyway. I'm not placing anything because it's too tight. And that works actually really well. I like it. So now onto the bedroom. Oh no, right, I place some doors. Just the color of this door here. And I'm here, I'm like, okay, I would love if I could color a door from one side with one color and from the other side with another. Then I would, from the bathroom, have it black and from the laundry washing room with white. But that's not an option that the game gives. So, onto the bedroom and choosing some beds. I love all these beds, especially this super cozy looking coffin from the vampire update. Of course, too much. A little bit witchcrafty and spellcrafty maybe, but we're still kind of normal people that just like video games. So yeah, which bed do I go for? Color-wise, I like natural colors, like wooden colors. I also like black and white. Uh, blue is also great. And of course, a little bit of pink is lovely. I love me some some light pink, some bubblegum pink. And um, in the end, I go for the one I basically knew from the beginning that I wanted because it looks just so magical. It looks so beautiful. If I could have this bed in real life, I would want it. 
I mean, I would probably not because it would surely be rather expensive, um, but it would be amazing. While the blue one is also really nice because it has a hex grid on and as a civilization player, as many on this channel may know, I am in love with hex grid. But um, I decide a heavy bed like this on the tatami floor, nah, that doesn't make sense. That would make dents into the tatami floor. So I go for some white wood to separate it a little bit from the rest of the room where I think we want to place the gaming desks. Um, I also really want a kotatsu. I would love to have a kotatsu in real life. It's a little bit challenging to get this out of Japan, <laughs> outside of Japan, because these things basically only exist in Japan. I also really want one of these beds, that uh, one of these couches that can be turned into a bed, because I will have friends over and some of these friends come from further away and I want them to be able to stay overnight. And just sleeping on the couch when you have multiple friends staying overnight is a little bit rough for them. So I personally have here a couch that they can like draw out. It's not a full, um, I think they're called Murphy's bed. It's it's just a couch that you can pull out and it turns into a bed. It's even smaller than this Murphy thing. But it's still the thing we got in the Sims, so I used that. It has to be here. Despite it not being the prettiest couch. It's fine, it works. And here I'm figuring out what desk I want to use for the gaming desk. I want something um, that fits the room, but also is practical. And um, because none of the desks are tall enough, I figure out, okay, let's just pull a few things together. And um, which computer to use? I would like to have two different computers. So you see, okay, the, so we just don't have the exact same computer because we don't. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so I just give one person the pink one and the other one the black one. I wish there would be more variants of the colored one. Same with chairs, I give one person the pink chair and the other one the, the blue chair. I don't know who would get which one because we both love pink. <laughs> yeah, And um, I want to make the desk a little bit bigger. I want to have some 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 shelves there. I want to have some, some drawers there and then figure out, okay, what can I place here? What can I fuse with the table? Because I want this whole thing to be a little bit bigger, a, a real um, a work environment, a gaming environment. I mean, yeah, I want to be able to work here and to play video games here, of course, and maybe do some recording of The Sims Let's Plays, right? So yeah, there has to be some some cabinets that go below or tables. I, it's it's you know, sometimes really tough to see what fits each other and even with sizing up and sizing down sometimes you have like this really nice cupboard and you're like well this is too big um, let's make it smaller well now it's too small is there no medium sized it really sometimes especially with paintings later on you'll see sometimes it really frustrates me that in sizing up and down you only have these steps and no in between but I guess that's how the game goes. I figured this one, this little cupboard with the sakura um, branches looks really nice. I like it actually so much that I will use it later again. And here I think, okay, let's have more shelves. Just something. Maybe a small bookshelf. Oh, this is nice. I, I found this more on accident and I thought, oh, that, that's super good for the bathroom. And it even comes with the same grayish brown as the walls. Perfect. And this one also fits really well. I mean, it's, it's like it's made for it. And the door has to be adjusted a little bit to, since it has the same color. And of course, I want a, a TV table with a TV on top of it, so we can watch TV from the couch. As with the lowered room, there's not enough space. And I figure with a half wall, this would be really nice, so it separates a little bit from the dining area. So um, the people watching TV, if someone is still sitting at the dining table, they don't just watch them dine. They can actually focus on the TV. And um, yeah, I decided to put the one on the wall to have a little bit more space on the on the, on the TV table. And now it's, I want some, some paintings on the wall, some pictures, something fancy and pretty. So some of the ones that I always want to use because I personally like them in my other builds. But um, often I don't use them because they don't always fit. And then for the pink kitchen, I found this really nice pink fridge. I was like, oh my god, I love this pink color. Uh, now let's just find um, a good cooking place. Mm, okay, that's a bit too bright pink. Let's just use a basic one, I guess. And then some cabinets and um, what are they called? 
the bars and everything the places where you put things on top oh my god words english do you speak it motherfucker <laughs> um i discovered this they have a nice pinkish purple but um, i will realize rather soon when i'm placing them that it bothers me too much that everything has a different pink like especially when i place the chairs i'm like okay the chairs have one pink the fridge has another pink the floor has another pink and these the shelves have another pink like oh my god i don't want the kitchen to be pink but everything in a different pink i want the kitchen to be white pink and that's it and just one version of pink just like i don't want there to be like five different tones of slightly white or grayish than the other one so i decide okay fine furniture everything goes white and just a few tiny tidbits of pink to give it a little bit accentation and i really like these these bar stools and then with the two leveled bar counter place counter was the word i was thinking of before and this picture i love it it's slightly too big in this way but in the other way it's clearly too small so i decided to go for the big one anyway it looks really pretty and it gives this a really eccentric viewpoint the whole thing and i love that i think it's really nice with the um, dining area slightly lowered but um, the, the, basically the living area where the couch and the tv is and the kitchen slightly leveled up so yeah i uh, figure out okay these shelves that i placed earlier would make itself really nice in the kitchen especially if they have a good white available to them so uh, now i experiment with these cabinets but um i end up not being fully satisfied so i, I look a little bit around that check if they are available in a nice pink but they're not so i just end up discarding it i thought also okay over the stove over the cooking place i have to have some oh what's this called in english Oh my god, I don't know the word of this 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 air sucking thing in English. But um it looks weird because the walls are so tall in this apartment. So I decide, okay, fine, let's go without. Who cares? It's the Sims. It doesn't have to be fully realistic. If it were fully realistic, I could have just another one. Maybe there is one and I was just blind. That sometimes happens. I uh, I have only so much experience with the stuff in here. Um I have played just the base game for years. And um, so many things are still kind of new for me. And um, I also noticed that the wall that I loved so much, the furniture is exactly the same height and blocks the view on the pretty wall completely. So it's kind of pointless. This, therefore, I decided to go for this one that has white tiles on the bottom. And now I'm exploring for some more furniture items and I stumbled across this chest and I was like, wait a second. That would look great in the kitchen if I make it smaller. Could be some chest that um, has some um, food ingredients in it, maybe spices, maybe it has alcohol in it. Could be like a treasure chest with rum in it. That would be really nice. I also stumble upon this um, this big, um, what's it called, drawer, dresser? With, uh, yeah, it has drawers and stuff on it. And it would look great in the kitchen because it has the perfect pink. It is exactly the pink I like and it fits the floor and the seats of the bar stools very well. So now I, I have to place these things accordingly and make sure everything adjusts to each other. This is sometimes a little bit fiddly and moving things back and forth. Now here I would like something else and I figured out, oh, this this big drawer has a little, a little cupboard that fits it. That's really nice. So I went for that one. I have to move things, of course, slightly around. And um, I'll move things in the kitchen a lot around and just figuring out what looks good where. Sometimes I have to put something a little bit into the wall because it annoys me if there is too much of a gap behind between the wall and a piece of furniture. Because how dirty is it gonna get behind it and you're never gonna clean there because it's still the gap is still too small. So either want there to be a gap on purpose or no gap. And also this real this little shelf cupboard thingy does look gorgeous here in the hallway with the with the rucksack on top of it uh, the back the backpack the, yeah the backpack back bag what is it now well this painting is also really nice i love the blue colors and it looks really like something out of a fantasy adventure it gives me great ideas for D, &D writings um, i'm also I'm a dungeon master or game master however you call it and I just love d and I'm also a player and therefore I, love, I sometimes have to write stories, I have to write quests and this inspires me. This picture looks really 
like something that gives me the urge to go out on an adventure. And um, I stumble also upon this wall scroll, and I'm like, wait a second, doesn't this per perfectly fit on my half wall? So I decide to move my other painting with Sakura branches, which is very pretty, to another spot and place the wall scroll there. Also placed a few other paintings and stuff that fits just what I stumble across and like. Sometimes I search for something, sometimes I find something that I like and sometimes not. Here I'm also testing out if this shelf, where, this is, where it could fit because I really like it. And um, it has a good white tone, also a good beige tone, so I like to use it. This one, Ikea shelf that I have at home as well. But I was like, nah, it's, it's just... With everyone in the entrance, it will constantly be, the stuff will be pushed out and in, that's not good. While this little one was very perfect for the bathroom, and I also was like, okay, the, the small kotatsu could always be replacing the big one if I feel like I need more space. Over here, I would love under these tables some, again, some cupboard or something, but I'm, I have to see what I can use. Some things are too tall, some things are too small, some things do not come in the color that I need. So it's a lot of experimenting and I can advise you just do the same if you if you have an idea in your mind just grab a bunch of things and see what looks well and just switch the colors around occasionally. Still, I mean, I had some restrictions as it had to also fit my personal taste. I could not just be like, well, this is not my personal taste, but it looks good so I can just do it. I mean, if I built for some random sim without a predefined personality, you can basically build anything that looks kind of good even if it's not your personal taste but here it had to fit my taste and my girlfriend's taste so yeah luckily we have quite a similar taste in many things i think i'm a little bit more into goth stuff and she's a little bit more into the cute stuff but we both like both so yeah I'm really this this place under the window. I like to have some shelves and some some drawers and everything in the bedroom and of course also in the in the computer room. But um, not everything fits there because I can't move the window around. I can't be like, oh yeah, this cupboard is really nice. Let's just move the window to the side so it fits. Nah, that's, that doesn't work. And also, when I moved something into that corner, a slightly too close to the wall, the, the game thought, oh, it's a back on the ground level. Let's lower it. And I was like, yeah, how about no? And I tried to play with it, maybe abuse it, but it didn't really work. I had experiment quite a while with this stuff. I found a few things that I like, but do not fit either with the other um, furniture or do not perfectly fit in front of the window. So it's, it's just a lot of experimenting and figuring out what works. Some occasionally I may stumble across a piece of furniture that I could use in another room. But um, I think I end up here with a really nice drawer or dresser. Yeah, with the dresser that I used in the kitchen. But in black, it looks actually really nice next to next to the the bedside tables that also are a little bit big. But I like it because it goes along very well with the bed. It has the same black and it's the same size in um, in height. And this little um this little fluffy stool is really damn cute and it's something that I would want in a bedroom to just maybe sit down and put on socks while the girlfriend is still sleeping or maybe she does that or to just put clothing on you know like lazy people do and of course a few more extra pillows in the bar and the sleeping room are always great and then here's something very important D&D &D dice and a D&D &D, um, table corner thingy um, it's, it's from a mod, just just Google the D&D stuff, mod sims, and you'll find it. I have it since many years, so I don't even remember its exact names, it's so long. Of course, the fluffy rug, the new fluffy rug from the Snowy Escape is really nice. It's it's wavy shaped and then comes in great colors. And I often, what I do right here, I do a lot. I had to cut out so much from this. I had over 11 hours of video editing to do and most of it was cutting out me browsing through items because I browse through these items so much just figuring out ah, is this carpet or maybe this carpet what color variants does it come around and I experiment so much with it but yeah I really like the fluffy rocks there they're gorgeous and then of course the witch pot is amazing and it comes in the perfect pink oh my god I need it 
but it's a little bit too huge. I mean, it's really, it's huge. You can use Trump words for it. It's tremendous. So really, it's still beautiful, so I want to have it. I just scale it down and I will play test it later. I noticed that the animations do not scale down that well, so I make it slightly bigger, but it should still work. And um, yeah, then of course, um, the computer plays and some cluttering will be done every now and then. You see, I'm not going room by room and finish every room. I'm more like going, f um, how do you say, um, furniture category by furniture category. Like, oh, let's do a bunch of chairs, let's do a bunch of stairs, oh, let's do a bunch of cupboards. Just browse through, because when I stumble across that, I'm like, oh yeah, this would fit that room. Oh, and this would be good in the kitchen. Oh yeah, and this is good for the bathroom. So I figured out, I also think these aquariums are gorgeous, but um, neither of us would be as much of a fish person. Um, so, yeah. of course, the gaming console is very important, and I think this globe is looking really good in, so in, a, in an apartment for people that play D&D, and it's also a bar. You can do mixology there. It's really nice because it's small. It doesn't take up much space. Fitting in a bar for mixology skill is always taking so much. Then also the the little box in front of the bed is gorgeous, and the the, um, the luggage there. What's it called in English? Not. Oh my God, koffer. Um, sometimes words elude me. It's really nice in the three colors that fit this room. On um, I'm thinking of. Yeah, exactly. That was what I wanted. Perfect. Some box with stuff in it. I can put the pillows on it and the little sitting thingy on the cute one next to it. Here I'm still figuring out what we want in my gaming room because the windows give so much, take so much wall space away. It's challenging with that. Then in here I have some new ideas what to do. I noticed that also the dress was clipping into the cupboard so that had to move slightly. I added this top thing here that you can see in the kitchen. Um, there's, um, this, there's a pink bar that I really like. I experimented a lot with this and um, I really liked it. I also noticed that in the back you see where the chest is there's a table missing for some reason. I was like, what? Why? When did that happen? It was more like a control view where I was like, mm, what do I do? Also, the, the, what's it, um, the curtains in the middle of the room. Sometimes when I haven't made my decision on something, I like to just place an example of it in the middle of the room. So when I continue building it, I can go, I, I remember. Because otherwise I tend to forget. And in the end, when I've done everything, I'm like, Oh, wait a second, <laughs> because this is, of course, not a build that I would do in one day. I did it in three days because like 11 hours, non-stop building, nah, man, <laughs> that's that's not something I want. Here I saw this corner shelf and I thought like, oh my God, this corner shelf is really nice. Why are not more corner shelves in this game? I love corner shelves. They can be used in such nice variations. And I thought, okay, the, the little which pot glows so nicely, but it's just on the kitchen floor. Let's have something beneath it that makes it look a little bit more fancy. And I found these carpets that go really along nicely together if I put them on top of each other. Had to realign them to, so they are centered very well on each other. And that works really nice, I like it. Um, I will also have to still do have to do the lighting at some point. So here I was also like, okay, wait, what would you do if I just use a bunch of shelves in here? I could do that. And um, in the end, I end up going for the same corner shelves that I had over there because, well, it's the only corner shelf that exists in the game. It's a good one. Don't get me wrong. It's a really good one. But why is it the only one? Where are all the corner shelves? I want more of them. Especially since it's pre-decorated. Give me an empty version of those that I can clutter myself. I mean, I still, as you'll we'll see soon, find a solution to clutter it myself. But I had to use, um, of course, the, the, um, the, thing, the thing, what it's called. Um, the move objects so I can move things within each other. I also found, stumbled upon this book and I was like, oh, wait a second. Someone in a video once said they used this as a cookbook just by placing it within a shelf. And oh my god, it looks perfect. And it's so nice. So I just need to clutter a few sauces and spices around it. 
will be gorgeous. Also here I'm just placing this nice lamp there because I really like it and I want it. And this shelf, this little cupboard, whatever it is, has potions on it, some magic ones and everything. It looks so pretty, I want it. So I was figuring, okay, where do I place it? Because while I want it, I don't really have the space for it. And it's a little bit odd in shape, so it doesn't fit too many places. I'm trying out to move it into other objects where it could look nice. And I figured, wait, in the corner it would look kind of nice, but I have the corner shelf there, what do I do? I end up removing the corner shelf and um, doing placing the corner shelf somewhere else. I have to move the painting a little bit to the side. I keep the painting, the painting is gorgeous, but um, I figure this thing could go into the corner and it would look totally fine and the, the corner shelf could go up here. It has the perfect height that it fits perfectly. Very, very nice. I love, I love how these shelves go together so nicely. Despite them being all different from different packs and everything, it just kind of mix match anything that has the right color and fits my taste. I'm sorry for the wall clipping here sometimes. In apartments it's a little bit challenging sometimes when you have limitations because you end up in the neighbor's room and stuff very soon. Then curtains, very important for the theme. It's a little bit tough sometimes with curtains, especially if you cannot ch change the window to fit the curtains. I only have to choose the curtain fitting the window. In apartments, a little bit tough, I would say, because there are so many curtains and most of them do not really fit these windows. So I only had like this blue one and this one and not much else and I was like mm, I'm not sure. I love these ones but they don't fit because they're curved. Um, so I end up going with some very basic ones in, in white because um, it fits very nicely. In here it looks weird but um, in here I can make it look really nice and fit it perfectly the windows and over here I can choose a different one for the bathroom and I find this one that has the perfect color fitting the wall. I love it. I love when the wood is this, when wooden things have the same wooden tones. I moved the, uh, the toilet a little bit back to have a little bit more room in the hallway and in the living room because I thought well the toilet doesn't need to be three on three, two on three is perfectly fine, right? And ooh, this bookshelf is really pretty. I could place this here. It's a bit tall for here. Ooh, or over here would work really nice. So let's let's move things around. Place the paintings over here. This is bookshelf. It looks again. It has, it has stuff on it. I like the bookshelves that have books on it and stuff on it and a few empty places. That's the best one. And some have just a bunch of books and are completely filled. It's a bit one side. It's great for a library, but for my home. I want to have a mix, a mix of things in there. I mean, in my case, it will probably be less books and more video game cases, because I still, I mean, buy a lot of online, but also have a lot in, um, on CD. And um, lighting is also very important, so I decide to replace the default lighting that I just had to fill the rooms with furniture. I stumble like one, on this little cupboard and think, wait. That looks good in my place. I'm still not happy with how I did this over here, so there's still experimenting to be done. By the way, I really love the the solar system lamp. It looks amazing. My girlfriend is into space stuff, and I'm, I thought, okay, she would love this lamp. I, I love this lamp, and I'm not as much into space stuff as she is. Then, of course, the other, the witch pot lamp has also to go somewhere where it fits. And the bathroom light. I will experiment a lot with the bathroom lamp. I have cut out a lot of time here because I experimented for quite a while. And decided, okay, some candles will look, look very nice. And then I'm like, oh, this thing. This is under lights. I was searching for this before. I searched for this very long and I didn't figure out that it could be under lights because I forgot it had, had these lights on it. But now I found it and I really love it. And then some, some cluttering in here also, but not too much because the bathroom has to still be some stylish, again adjusting the chair, <laughs> the stairs as always. But these little candles, I really like candles in the bathroom, especially if you have a big enough bathroom, which I currently don't, but where I grew up I had it and, and also occasionally other places I had it too. Although I'm, I rarely use candles actually, but I would love to, I think it's, it's a nice theme, especially if you take a bath together. Can't wait for doing that again. So yeah, um, good lighting in the, in the toilet and um, everywhere where there is a mirror. 
because you need good light there. If there is mediocre light where you just shower and bath, that's fine. But um, where you do makeup and use lotions and stuff and do your hair, there you need good light. And I also like to have good light when I'm taking a poo. So, yeah. Mirrors, um, always a tough call I find, what mirror to use where. Also, um, I figured out there is no mirror to place on a table. Why does this game have no table mirror? Animal Crossing has table mirrors. Why does The Sims not have? Sims is seven years old. Why is there still no table mirror? This annoyed me so much because in the hallway where you put up, pull, where you take off your shoes, I wanted a table mirror. But not an option. And then these corner things, it, it sometimes annoys me so much when things don't go along together even though they're meant to go along. Like in here, it, every time, no matter how I do it, something sticks out in a in an odd, uncomfortable way. Try to fix it somehow, but uh, yeah, I'll just end up with having drawers that don't make much sense, and I'll ignore it for the rest. Oh yeah, and in in this room, I need good light. There has to be good light when you do recording or you just do some work on the computer. You sometimes need good light. Daylight isn't always working. Sometimes the daylight is blinding and sometimes uh, sometimes there is no more daylight because it's night. I like to play at night. I like to record at night. A lot of what I do here was done at night. So yeah. Um, and cluttering everything up will come at, t at a certain time. Um, sometimes, like, again, I stumble across things, I'm like, oh yeah, let's place it there, I can adjust it later, oh, this is nice here, let's place it for now, and adjust it later. Like here, I just place these books on the floor because I know I want to use them somewhere, but I'm not sure yet where, so I just place them on the floor to not forget them, to still have them around, I can always adjust them later. I will also go into the debug mode later and place a lot of clutter. Right now, I'm just playing without debug items and seeing what I have on from just from the game and placing that wherever I like. <clears throat> of course the, the cooking book has to lean onto something, can't just hover in the air. And I figured these red peppers should be fine at this class. It's big enough, it looks heavy, so it should go well. These towels, I love these towel rolls, they're really nice. Um, and they look good in small and in big, like in small there is some small hand or face towel and in big they could be full body towels. And they come in a good color variations. Then of course um, the, uh, the, the magazines and the books and everything everywhere. Sometimes it's a little bit challenging to fit something somewhere in, so it still looks good. You notice that there is something but it doesn't isn't too prominent. Of course the gaming desk is absolutely underdone at the moment, it lacks second screens and stuff, but that will come with time. I'm just going through things, seeing what I want. I would love to have some like anime figures, but um, The Sims doesn't offer too much weep stuff. I'm, I love anime um, less now than um, when I was slightly younger, but I still have a lot. I have a shelf filled with anime stuff, with comics and manga and and some anime collections and uh, a lot of figures, big ones and small ones and like anime looking figures this game doesn't have. So I will have to see whatever I find. It's usually the best to not, with cluttering things, to just browse through things and pick the stuff you like. Because sometimes you have an idea for something but the Sims game just doesn't have it. And that is, that is not a fun experience. While browsing through things and just picking what you like, it's like, oh, this is nice. Oh, and this is nice. I want this and I want this. And I love the exotic fruit bowl. I went for this one and not the one with the apples and pears and stuff. Because I'm actually slightly allergic to raw apples, carrots and pears. While I love their taste, when I eat them, my whole throat starts to itch and they make weird <coughs> noises all the time. And it's of course very uncomfortable. I don't die from eating an apple, but um, it's it's uncomfortable, despite apples being so goddamn tasty. Yeah, therefore fruit bowl bowl because ananas has some, a little only slight effect like this, and bananas no effect, no bad side effects. Great, I love exotic fruits. Also papaya, mango, amazing fruits. 
they only were not as expensive where I live. I'm, I'm from Switzerland, so you see, you maybe notice that my that English isn't my mother tongue, um, but I try my best. And here, of course, cluttering with a few things that I like. I like the bookshelf with the polar bear that has reading glasses on it. It's kind of cute. The scrolls. I love the scrolls. The scrolls is such a beautiful item, especially for some witch theme or magic theme or D&D theme, fantasy themes. It works on so many levels. And, of course, the gargoyle. I mean, who doesn't love Goliath's voice or Demona's sass, right? Anyone who knows what I'm talking about is like, oh, big boy, yes! And people who don't know, um, go check out Disney's Gargoyles. It's an old Disney series, and it's it's the best Disney series they ever made. Period. Totally biased opinion, of course, but um, I think the series still has, to this day, enough fans to justify. Also, like these cat, f cat statues, they're really cute, can be used for other things as well, the dog statues, they always fit so nicely and of course we need a lot of plants. Um, I know my girlfriend loves flowers and things like that. I'm more into cacti because I'm a lazy person. Um, but um, flowers don't, order, generally plants don't work in every apartment. Luckily this apartment should have enough light. And with this wooden shelf, already when I placed it I was like, okay, this wooden shelf um, at the half wall works perfectly and then here I was like okay let's do some tricks and see what works but I um, yeah it doesn't fit um, I've seen on the internet people using that red shelf I really have to try that out but I've already made this furnishing of this apartment before I figured out the red shelf thing so yeah I couldn't place anything on top because it would either be inside the shelf or hovering above it and that, that that's just no Sometimes I can live with something being slightly inside a shelf, but hovering above is just not an option. And here I'm also using a little trick with them having vases placed and then place a plant from outside on top of the vase. I sh thought maybe on top of the corner, but that's again not working out well with the high height level. But here I can place these on this wooden shelf and I think it looks really nice in front of this wallpaper and with the the window to the side it gives some light, some daylight. Plants need some daylight, that's the thing. If you ever want cacti, they will need a lot of light. Like watering is of course not the issue, yeah, that's why you like them, right? But I had some as a child and they all died because my room had the windows to the sh most shadowy side of the house. And yeah, they all died because they lacked light. They don't die quickly when they lack light. They grow very quickly because they, they search for light and then they die. It's it's horrible. Don't get cacti if you can't give them a lot of sunlight. It's not the warmth they need, it's just the, um, the pho photosynthesis that they require. I mean, cacti are desert plants after all, right? So yeah, I'm just looking through the flowers here to place here, what, what, what I like, what looks good. Some things look really good, some things are a little bit too heavy, some things end up for some reason being a little bit too dark. Um, and I think, yeah, well, I just let place a few books in between maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed by the hate because not everything works out. Like, uh, some of these pots are fine if they stay a little bit in, in the shelf. But other things, like, no, you can't stay in the shelf. But the book, for some reason, worked perfectly fine. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, and then I want something right next to this little bunny. But I'm gonna figure this, these books don't work well enough. But these books here work really nice on the shelf. I just have to put something on each side to hold them. Because right now they're just standing standing still that may work for a while but at some point it will fall over then here i'm finally doing what i said much earlier i'm cluttering the shelf up and covering up the items um somewhat so it doesn't look like two identical shelves like who would have that the, the exactly identical shelves no one so i had to cover up at least one of each and just find something that's big enough, place it there, and level up things. And it looks actually really nice. 
Yeah, the dilemma was a little bit more challenging to cover up because it's so close to the to the border of the shelf thingy. And I just was looking for anything that could cover it up. Didn't even matter much what. Even these books that didn't didn't fit it well enough. And this little cute animal from the Star Wars pack. Maybe maybe this works. Nah, it doesn't work. Oh, this one. This one is fat and round. This could work very well. Oh, perfect. Exactly what I what I was looking for. Something cute and fitting. And I was like, wait, what, what do I put on top? The little reindeer plushie that is really cute. Little ranger reindeer. That goes there. I, I wish there were a little bit more plushies just for decoration. I, in real life, I have a ton of plushies. I have dinosaur plushies, I have animal plushies, I, I have a lot of them. I have, I have tigers, I have lions, I have rhinos, I have hippos, I have, I have monkeys, I have cheetahs, I have, I have dogs, I have cats. I have all the Lion King animals, uh, I mean all the li actual Disney plushies for Lion King and I have snakes, I've got everything, I've got so many plushies I would argue I've got too many plushies, don't ever send me plushies if a friend of mine watches this I mean unless you know I really want it, I still occasionally buy a plushie but it's become a rarity I think the last plushie I bought was um, Sylveon from Pokemon because it's super cute and I just wanted a Pokemon plushie someday so yeah now time to clutter up you see sometimes you have to move the shelf away and then move with alt the thing on the place where you want it because if the shelf is there it always snaps to the shelf and sometimes that's annoying because you don't really want it like yeah it always snapped on top of this of the dresser and I didn't want it I wanted it to be in that little gap in between also, I realized with change of lamps, the the color of the shelves don't look the same white anymore. They look a little bit grayish, and it annoyed me. But you can maybe you could, should be able to change the light slightly in the play mode so it doesn't look too much of different whites. But that's not something I can do anything about it. Getting similar whites was already challenging enough. But I think hey, the cluttering is really nice with all the sauces there. It looks really like someone is ready to cook some expanded meals and some, something with a lot of spice i love spicy food i love i love curries i love yakisoba i love yakitori i love sukiyaki all the japanese stuff i love um ramen i love them also spicy tonkatsu ramen is amazing and there are also other kinds of foods that I like spicy i like to put um chili on my Pizza, I, I like, um, or jalapenos on my pizza is amazing. When I order pizza, then I love that on it. Uh, and when spicing stuff myself, I use ginger and curry quite a lot, and sometimes chili. I, I just love the spicy stuff. It's it's my thing. Of course, not always. Then I thought, okay, these lamps look great, but they're not bright enough. I need something else. I need something brighter for this room. And then I discovered this one. I was like, I mean. It's not the most beautiful light, but it works, right? And that's what counts. I need a light that is bright enough. And since we're already here, okay, let's clutter this a little bit more with a little night figure, some books, some pretty flowers, and of course, we need a second screen. And I'm sitting here with two screens while I'm recording this voiceover. So, in game, I will need the same thing. And the other gargoyle on top of the shelf? Yeah. Who needs an elf on a shelf when you can have a gargoyle? The, the true guardian and of course here behind this thing is all like wait, wait 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 I know there is a picture a painting that has a map on it that would be perfect it could be like the sword coast with a neverwinter and deep water and all the D&D &D related maps and places that would be great and here I thought okay wait for the bathroom I need some cabinets that's where you really want something to store um, some of your makeup, some of your lotions, um, your toothpaste, your spare toothpaste, your spare bath, um, uh, what's it called, shampoo and body lotions and just everything. I mean, it may sound as if I had a lot. My girlfriend has a lot more than I do, but um, I would imagine once we would, once we actually move in together, we we will have a lot of stuff, a lot more than before because. We will both have each of our own things, some things that we share and some things that we obviously won't share. 
So yeah, and I thought, oh, this looks nice if I just place it inside it. So like a little a little shelf on top of these of these counters looks really nice. With the towels, you can never have enough towels around. Um, and of course, um, perfumes and uh, makeup, just, just lotions, just some th stuff. I, I place more in The Sims than I would have in real life. But I just think in The Sims it looks so pretty to have little colorful bottles everywhere. It could also be just potions. I mean, if I place witchcrafty stuff after all, then all these little little bottles could always be potions too. So yeah, here I'm going for the debug because I decided, okay, it's time to clutter up. It's time to find all the stuff and just get it going. Um, I'll still browse a little bit oddly around. I'm still in search of a few things. I stumble upon this little penguin plushie. I really like it. It's so cute. I know it's a knitting thing, I think. But um, it's just cute. There need to be more plushies, so I went for that one. And of course, some, some stuff for the bathroom. I occasionally just grab things and place them there just to see how they look like, if I think they could be used elsewhere. Um, of course, I really like the Star Wars thing because it looks great as a potion or as just some, some kind of bottle as a decorative object. Um, yeah, the CD stacks could be games. I mean, I don't really have any CDs around because internet age, also game discs did go down. But, oh, this dragon and the little golems, they're perfect. They are perfect for, for the D&D table. I mean, it's a kotatsu, but um, basically the DM is all ready to hold the session, just waiting for the guests to arrive to play, to play the dungeon the DM made. So there has to be a dragon and a few golems for the people to fight. This, this magical looking owl, the cosmic owl, looks very adventure-like and magical. I, I love that, so that had to be placed here. Um, works really nice. Also, I'm, I'm a huge dinosaur fan. I have a few fossils at home actually, smaller ones, I have a Spinosaur teeth and when I stumbled across the T-Rex skull I was like, oh my god, I need it. And of course the penguin, I thought, oh, that would look really cute on top of these pillows, but with the hate I struggle a lot. Like it's either hovering or not sitting on it, so I had to find another counter or something to place it on first so it's at a different hate level when I move it up with 9 and then go along. And here I thought, okay, the knight can stand slightly in there and it would look good, right? And then this, the, the, the other screen has to be slightly angled in a good angle, but I have to do that off the table. Otherwise, it will always flip it and adjust it and stick to the corners. Then also the, the book with maybe cheat codes or notes, right? Maybe notes for d and I don't know. Or maybe it's just a book with cheat codes, maybe just a calendar book. Could be many things that is maybe used by me and my girlfriend, who knows, I just thought it looks really nice. So I place it in the middle. And I had to find a spot that works well, it's still on the table and between the keyboards. Also, I really had to let these tables overlap a bit, so that the computers get close enough next to each other, with a little bit of space in between, but still not too much space, so we can sit both at the computer and have like access to each other's screens and play something cooperative maybe would be really really fun actually it would be my dream to just sit, sit both next to each other on the computer and play video games that's that's like living a dream and afterwards have lots of sex in the in wherever <laughs> um so yeah um i'm still cluttering up i'm still figuring what could I do? I had an idea with some lights and I'm f browsing through the lights again. Decided to remove the stairs over there because I was like, wait, it's just one level from floor to floor. So that works actually without stairs. Then this little crystal lamp, I really like. Um, I mean, a glowing crystal as a lamp is gorgeous. And then this poster, I thought, but we're gamers. I don't have much wall to place posters on, but I have some, I have this, um, this shelf, I have this this dresser where I could place posters on. But it annoyed me that they're kind of hovering because they're either too big or too small. So I thought, okay, let's just place mirrors backwards so I have a black background to put these posters on. So I experiment a little bit with the black mirrors and the 
Black Mirror's hair. Isn't there a show called Black Mirror? Yeah. Um, backwards and place the poses on it. Much later I will notice that if I look at them from the other side, like there's some blue back wall that doesn't scale down when you scale down the mirror. And that's super annoying because it made the whole thing I did here extensively completely irrelevant. I had to remove it later again. And just yeah, you will see. It it annoyed me. It was this was this was not fun. But I really like this poster because it's the only poster that looks like something out of an anime or a video game based on an anime or something like that. And then this Daft Punk, I mean it's basically some hint at the Daft Punk, just some posters I thought would be nice. But I do, didn't want too many and then the window of course gives only so much room to place stuff on walls and such. Um, the book in blue goes along well with the hat of the pumpkin, very nice. I, I'm not sure if that's a, is that a decorative pumpkin or is that one that spoils? I hope it's not one that spoils. Then a little bit more carpets. Again, I was browsing forever through carpets. I'm so annoyed at carpets because either they come in so many arbitrary sh shapes that I don't like. I don't like geometrical shapes or they are way too bright. I don't like it if they are too bright because they look so posh. And in German, I would say kritik and I really don't like that. While these posters here are really nice, I love the the the, the, the slightly grayed out or pastelic colors for furniture because it goes along well with a lot of stuff. And of course, black and white is also always working. And then this cork board uh, is really nice. Finally, stumbled in the debug menu on these postcards to place on the the cork board. Same with these posters. These posters are just. These poses are amazing. While not all of them overlap nicely, so I had to figure, okay, how do I do it? With it because I get so annoyed when things glitches too much. And of course, the space painting for the wall is really nice. And oh my god, which brooms? I, I did not play enough with the magic update yet, so I was like, oh my god, there are brooms? Very nice, excellent. We have to have brooms. And candles, more candles in the bathroom. Absolutely. Next to the yoga mat. Here I had the idea to place these um, meditation stools inside of um, rocks. So if the person goes and uses them, it would look like they sit on rocks. Sadly, it doesn't work. The rock blocks the using. So yeah, they can't use them if they're inside rocks. Too bad. So it's time to use the clutter. I've cluttered a lot, you see. I like to browse through a lot of clutter. I cut it out all because it's basically me browsing for over an hour just through clutter items and placing them on the floor. So I place them on the floor, the ones I like, and then later on I arrange them. Here I'm arranging it, notice, oh my god, they're all hovering in the air, that's, that's a no-go. So I got a little bit annoyed and, well, I had to, do, to, to redo it. Is this now? Okay, yeah, now, not hovering in the air anymore. Good. Because I really, yeah. I love how these things look. I, I was told that these wine glasses actually may spoil and there are some from a vampire add-on that are not spoiling, I don't know. Um, I have to test that. Um, that's again uh, something I figured out when I watched videos, uh, same time when I figured out how the red shelf works that you may see in other videos. Uh, at this point I didn't know this stuff yet. I just knew this stuff that I do here, that you can with ALT grab an item and push it over so it hovers in the air so it doesn't snap to the corners. For some reason the glasses I had there were bugged out and the game was like, they gla th that item doesn't exist and I was like, but I see it here. So I could delete it but not move it. Very weird. Then the little yarn toy is of course so cute from that game, I don't know the name of which, but it's such a cute game and actually really good game, I can recommend it. Um, if you like puzzle-like games, then that's, that's great. Some um, riddles to solve. And of course, uh, also this, um, this muscle, no, what's it called? Um, Muschel in German. Um, this shell is really, really beautiful and I had to have it on here. I have some in real life, not that big, but quite big enough. And uh, I love how they look as decoration. So I had to use it and then all the clutter on the floor. Sometimes I'm just not sure which color variations I want to combine. So I place all, of, all the ones I like and I figured, oh my God, in here, that's the perfect place 
for these rocks. I, I I have rocks in real life as well. Some some of those, not ones that are as big as these ones because they're they well they're expensive and they basically serve no purpose in real life. So yeah, they're just pretty. You can only afford as many. But I wanted to have some in here because they look pretty and they fit like the witch theme, the spell crafting theme. So yeah. Um, try to adjust this raven feather painting. Uh, I think it looks pretty, but I couldn't put it in prop appropriate height. And these two figures, I thought they could look like anime figures. Maybe I can fit them somewhere, but I wasn't fully happy with where they were. Maybe on top of here. Um, this one was again not hovering, either hovering or being in the floor. So I decided, ah, fuck it, remove it. Sometimes I'm losing patience with things and just I decide to remove it and use something else. Then of course here where is a little bit of the archaeology and witch and spellcrafting corner um, with geology. I mean it's technical geology and archaeology just, right? Absolutely fine. And yeah, I just wanted to arrange a few neat colors together on the pro appropriate side. And I have the crystal somewhere hovering over something, maybe hovering over these books, that could be nice, like a magic crystal that for some reason blurs out if I have a certain distance, I'm not sure why, but it's decided, okay, fine, let's just place it behind it, As I, since it's actually also a working lamp. What annoys me about this crystal, you cannot scale it up and down, only the ring will scale up and down, while the crystal will stay the same size. I would love if I could have a giant glowing crystal on certain builds. But besides, some crystals in the bathroom could be nice, just like some, some stones, some healing stones. I don't know. I mean, if, if you know a little bit about these stones that um, they have certain... It is said that they have certain effects on your, on your body, on your health. And um, it's very interesting, of course, if you believe not in it, then it's fine. If you believe in it, it's fine either way. It doesn't matter. They're pretty. I like them. So, yeah. This was um, my build and um, next I will show you some screenshots where I go a little bit closer into it and just show you how pretty it is. Oh yeah right, the gargoyle did get re um, placed around so there I had to do that. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much and enjoy the screenshots. Mm -hmm.